Well, welcome to Spokane Veterans Memorial Arena. The wait is finally over. The postseason is finally here. The top seed Spokane Shock host Arizona in the first round of the AFL playoffs. I See what Rowan does with this kickoff. He's been a weapon all season long with different places he can place that football. Yes, he has. A lot of times he's hit metal, created that funky bounce, and Spokane's come up with the ball. This one bounces low off the net. Rowan will kick it off to Sanders. That went off the bar, but Sanders will feed it, field it cleanly. He gets off. So here's Rowan once again in for the extra point. This kick is up and good right down the middle. So Spokane takes the lead back here at the Spokane Veterans Memorial. AFL playoff football, the onside kick up in the air and field. So here's Rowan on again for the extra point. And that one's up and good. So Spokane back up a touchdown, 27 to 20 here with 37.4 to go. In and click on the ninth man, number one shock fan to upload your family friendly fan. Photos. Rowan's kick goes between the bar and the dashboards. It's but Taylor Rowan with a perfectly placed kick. Arizona's got 45 yards to go to get to the end zone. This ball be placed on the five. Really, in that situation, you can't ask for anything more from your kicker. That's a perfect place. It, it absolutely is. It was huge. Oh, th three points here for Spokane would be huge. Anytime you can go up two possessions in this arena football game. Now, let's keep in mind if Taylor Rowan misses, this ball is live. You've got Terrence Sanders back there, ever dangerous for Arizona. A miss means this is live, and Sanders has a chance to return this. So a big kick here for Taylor Rowan. Snaps up, the kick is up, and it is good. Taylor Rowan boots it through to stay perfect on the season, and that is a huge field goal here to end the sec uh, second quarter. Unbelievable way to finish a first half. As Coach Keith talked about all week long, you must close out two halves, the first half and second half, and Spokane certainly did it here. Yeah, they really couldn't have drawn that up any better the way they closed out that first half. I want to talk about the decision to go for the field goal. Point on the clock, we believe in uh, Rowan, and he takes a great field goal there. And Taylor Rowan, is he clutch or what? A perfect six for six in field goals this year. He is a dandy. And you see number 16 there, Taylor Rowan, who had an extra point block there in the first half. Of course, not his fault, but then he comes back with that big field goal. He's six for six on the season, which is unheard of in this league. That's an incredible percentage in the indoor game down for Whitaker. You're seeing both teams, they've done a nice job of self-scouting to go away from their tendencies. And Rowan puts the extra point through to make the lead back to 10. ...by Arizona. Now, if you do take the one point there and kick the extra point, but then you're forcing them into two touchdowns and two two-point conversions. As you see the kick go off the crossbar, Trenton Harvey... That's a safety. It. I think we have a safety that, that time. Is a I safety. think the ball came out of the end zone when Harvey got it, and he ran back into the end zone. We'll see what the officials say. And so once uh, White uh, had that spacing, and he was in for six. And Taylor Owen on for the extra point. And right away, and he already has three catches on the night. And Taylor Rowan on for the extra point, and Rowan knocks it down. Huey Whitaker, he had a great year for the shot for the Utah Blaze in 2008. Taylor Rowan on for the extra point. To make it a 19-point Spokane lead. And Taylor Rowan is going to come on for only his seventh field goal attempt for the entire season. And this from 22 yards away. And Rowan splits the uprights. The kick is good. The half is over. It's only nine feet. So the Spokane shot, they wanted a touchdown, but they will take a field goal up 16.
as the first half comes to a close. We've got to play football the way that we play football. And if we do that, we're going to make the plays, we're going to change the complexion, and we're going to have a chance to win this football game. So the second half is underway. And a great sign uh, for the Milwaukee Iron here is Antoine Burns. And Brown says, give me some help, guys. He's toughing up this guy, 6'5", 2 He didn't score a big touchdown like he did there for the shot. Three plays, 49 yards. Remember, they started at their one-yard line in a minute and 48 seconds. For the Spokane, these big receivers for the shot, 6'7". Rowan knocks it home. It's back to a nine-point lead. Can Milwaukee get back? Across his body in a position where only Whitaker could make the play. Rowley to put Spokane up 10. And Spokane now with a minute 52 left. Remember, the clock is going to stop at the one-minute mark. They are up 10. But Burns with the seed. Remember, he took one back. On the opening kickoff, and he brings it out. Moving on to Arena Bowl 23. Thanks for watching. The Arena Bowl is here. It all comes down to this. Wide open for a touchdown. A champion will be crowned. Touchdown! What a gutsy call. Arena Bowl 23, coming up next on NFL Network. constantly beat you, we constantly shut you up, we constantly smack you in your face, and you're still talking. Why are you talking? Guess what? I guess I gotta shut you up. I guess I gotta shut you up because punks jump up to get beat down, fellas, and guess what? You're in our way, Tampa Bay. You're in a freaking way. In my house, calling me out! In my house, calling me out! Guess what? We all spoke here, Shock, and we win around here! Win on three! One, two, three! Win! Catch. But the thing that you know about both these coaches is they're very intense. Both of them have a different way of doing it, but they're very hyped up. Arena Bowl 23, Tampa Bay and Spokane officially underway. Touchback coming out to the five. Taylor Rowan kicking off to Cedric Robinson. Again, the all-time leader in AFL history for returns and touchdowns. Does a nice job just to get across the funding an extra point, but uh, that was a touchdown. Kyle Rowley to Marky White, and that is an extra point. And Spokane leads for the first time. Let's check. Tampa Bay led seven to nothing at one point. Twenty unanswered points, and this would be the perfect time to get them back on track. If Cedric Robinson could, could take one of the house, give them a big return here, try to get the fans out of it a little bit, and get the momentum back on their side. Taylor Rowan lifts it, and Cedric Robinson awaits. 13-point shock lead. Right down the middle. Going into the half. You want to be the last team to score, because whether you got the ball first, it gives you a possession advantage, or whether you're getting the ball coming out of half, it gives you a possession advantage. And so that's left side. Taylor Rowan is good. And Tampa Bay's lead, it's second of the night. This is Taylor Rowan. And you start to get the feel of the excitement in this building, and I'm sure in this community as they've grown so close to this football team. For Jacksonville and Tampa Bay, 0-9 with the Jets, so he has had more than a sniff in the National Football League, but is excelling here in the AFL. And he really feels like he's got the skills to be able to make it the next level. But we know so much of that is about opportunity, being in the right place at the right time. And although he's got a few opportunities, he just hasn't felt like it's the right place. We're going to see a few miles from Kyle up here on the podium. Take a look at Kyle Rowley's highlights. Ten. I appreciate it. God's the MVP of this team, and I'm not joking about that. God is the MVP today. Talk about this, Steve, and how this group came together and how you guys have had such great success, especially playing here at home. Let me just say this. Rob Keefe is an unbelievable, not only coach, but a person. And he put all this together along with our ownership. It just, I mean, he saw it and he did it. For Kurt Warner and Anthony Heron and Ari Wolf and our entire crew, I'm Paul Burmeister. Good night and thank you for watching Spokane, your Arena Bowl champions.